Smut Schnegge, my friends, and welcome to the Polish Express, where I bring you guys some of the best Polish cuisine, along with a whole bunch of vegetarian dishes. I'm your host, Bartek, as well as home chef. Now, let's get into this week's recipe, Jajecnica. Jajecnica is one of my ultimate and favorite recipes for a few reasons. First off, it's pretty quick and easy. We'll have this done in less than 10 minutes. Second off, it's super customizable. Polish people always have eggs on hand. And then you can just take what other, other veggies, meats you have in your fridge and make a nice combination, scrambled eggs. And third off, I've been eating this recipe almost my whole life. It can be super awesome to feed a big group of people because you can just multiply it like that. Alrighty, now I'm gonna give you guys a quick breakdown of the ingredients we're using and then we'll get right into the cooking. First off, I got some Danish style bacon. I believe that this was lightly smoked beforehand. You can pick this up from any Polish store. These cuts are kind of on the thinner side, which I think are in my favor rather than more of a thick cut. So we got about two to three slices chopped up here. Second off, we got some Polish sausage. This is just regular kielbasa smoked Polish sausage. I took a little slice off the top, I would say around four inches, and then diced it. If you want to, you can always just do slices or halves, whatever your preference is truly. Alrighty, next off we have our onions. Onions are a big Polish staple. Sadly, I didn't have yellow onions. I do have some pre-cooked yellow onions in the fridge that I just sauteed up. But for your guys' learning of the process, here I just diced up half an onion. Finally, we got some baby bella mushrooms. I took two baby mellow mushrooms and just diced them up. And this is gonna be for some extra veggies. I love mushrooms and who doesn't? Next off, we have some amazing farm eggs. I'm a big believer in quality ingredients. So if you can get quality eggs, either from your local farmer, farmer's market, Amish stores in the area, my go-to favorites are a farmer nearby that we gave some of our chickens away to. And as you can see, we have all different types of colors. Something that you'll notice is in, with these yolks, they're a lot more orange and they get all that all-terrain, veggies, bugs that the chickens need to produce quality eggs and quality offsprings. Finally, I got a big old stick of butter. We're gonna use a little butter at the end just to give that thick creaminess into our eggs. And then in terms of herbs, we're just gonna finish it off with some scallions. I got some extra scallions here. Just gonna give them a little chop, 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 chop. Now, without wasting any time, I'm gonna give you guys a pan down. I only got one camera. So you guys are gonna get a little top down view of the action. All right, here you go. We got the nonstick pan. We're gonna bump this up to a uh, medium heat. This burner is kind of big for this pan. So when we're cooking eggs, we're actually gonna turn it down to more of a medium low so we don't overcook our eggs but we're gonna let that heat up in the meantime. Already pan has heated up, so we're gonna add a little bit of butter to start off. Just have a base. And then bacon goes in first. It's gonna be about two to three minutes. This is a super thin bacon. Just gonna let that get some nice mallard browning. In the meantime, Cracking our eggs. We got one, two. Talking about eggs, these are actually great to throw in your compost. I think it's magnesium or calcium that they have. As well, if you have chickens, the chickens do like to eat the uh, outside of the eggs. Helps them build stronger shells as well. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. We are getting some good heat. Two minutes almost gone by. Now we're gonna add our red onions. These are probably gonna take the longest out of all of our ingredients. <laughs> My long ass arms in the video. I am 6'3", just for your information. So sometimes it's hard to get the full portfolio in the shot. <clears throat> Already, onions got a nice, slight browning. We're gonna add our sausage in now. 
Let that go for about one minute and then our mushrooms are gonna follow. It is smelling delicious in here. I can just get those fragrances from the Polish sausage, bacon, and onion. We haven't even added any salt or anything. I think the sausages are releasing the most flavor. It's because of the spices and the smokiness that they have in them. So now we're just gonna add in our diced mushroom. The pan is getting kind of full. A lot of people say, yeah, it's neat, I doesn't know a lot about a lot of what's inside. It mostly focuses on the eggs. But I'm a big dude and I like to get all sorts of different kind of vitamins and veggies in. So we're also gonna hit this with some salt and pepper. For the seasonings, we're kind of keeping it chill. Just gonna let the proteins and the veggies be the main focus here. I'm just gonna give these final saute. Probably give the mushrooms like two to three minutes to get the browning and we'll be adding in our eggs here soon. Around this point, before I'm about to add my eggs, I'm preparing my toast. So I'm about to throw the toast into the frit, into the toaster. I usually do that before I put in my eggs because the eggs take about three minutes and then the toast also takes about three minutes. If you want, you can also put yeah, it's out over rice, potatoes. It's kind of super customizable. You could even put it on a piece of toast. But I prefer to have the yeah, it's on one side and then your toast with some, maybe some avocado or some peanut butter. I love peanut butter, peanut butter toast. Talk about a good time. Our meats and veggies are looking phenomenal. They got the mallard browning that we're looking for. Get that flavor installed. And like I said earlier, the farm fresh eggs are way better. You can see those beautiful orange adios. Some people say that you're supposed to add a splash of water for more fluffiness. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But just a light thing, we're gonna add a slice of butter into the pan. And then we're gonna chop our scallions. scallions straight into our eggs and then, yeah they're ready to add the eggs make sure to lower your heat so you're not gonna burn your eggs right away we're gonna get right into it Here we're just gonna stir to get our meat incorporated. Make sure our eggs don't go dry. So you see, we're taking it off the heat a little bit. There's plenty of heat in the pan. So get this gone, nice and cooked. Back. Take it off. A little bit of salt and pepper to get those eggs seasoned. We're getting pretty close to what we're looking for. Really don't need to cook the eggs too long. Got a little oopsie there as you can see. But if you look at that, only a minute for those eggs to be completely cooked and done with a little bit of runniness. Let me get you guys a little closer. Go. Well, bam. To serve these under the plate. Oh, yeah. Top it with the scallions. Nice color, refreshingness. Well, bam. Already two toasts ready onto the plate. Take a look at that. Some nice and fluffy, creamy, and wet. Yikes, Nietzsche. Avocado toast. And now let's give it a try. Alrighty, guys. 
we're going straight into this guys need some little taste test mm. I love the balance that we have here. We got the heavy meats, the bacon, and the bowl of sausage with some of the lighter ingredients, the scallions and the red onions. Pair that with the toast and avocado. Amazing. This year, guys, is signed to try and make yaitzinta at home. I wanna let you guys know this is a super customizable recipe using whatever you have on hand. But the main idea is the technique to get your meats first, add in with your veggies, with your eggs, and then finally top off with some fresh herbs, if that's parsley, scallion, cilantro, chives, whatever you have on hand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now please give the Polish Express channel a like and subscribe if you're new. And for the video, please like, share with your friends, and comment below if you guys have any questions. Send it in the comments. If you like this recipe and the style I did, please write that in the comments so I know what you guys are feeling and what you guys are looking for. For the next few weeks, my ideas are to throw in some vegetarian recipes that I enjoy making, some Polish cuisine recipes, some classics that I've been making my whole life, and also just some of my favorites like scallop risotto, maybe a buffalo chicken sandwich. So please drop in the comments if you have any recipes that you'd like me to make. Thank you so much for watching once again. Until next week, this is Chef B and the Polish Express, and we're out.